Hi, I'm Ian, welcome to Go Indoors. Uh, at the moment, it's a good time to get all your outdoor kit into good working order. So today I'm gonna to talk about cleaning your walking boots. These are my own mindful boots. Um, I've got a bowl of water here. Sadly, I don't have any uh, footwear cleaning gel, um, which is what you would need. So I'm gonna actually slop in a little bit radical, a bit of Nick Wax Tech Wash, which is a non-detergent wash used for water cleaning and waterproof jackets. Um, but it'll just give a bit of soap in there. Um, so first of all, uh, you need to remove the laces. Uh, next up, you want to take the insole out. If you can remove the insole, turns out I can't in this one. Can I? Yes, I can. Uh, so I've got a soft brush here, which you can use on a leather uh, boot, but if, you're, if you've got a fabric uh, boot, it's better to use a sponge uh, rather than a brush. Um, but if it's soft, it doesn't really matter that much. So um, I'm going to dip the boot in get it wet and then I'm going to start scrubbing. Um, sadly, my boots aren't super muddy. Uh, <laughs> they're actually in quite good nick, but um, still get them up to showroom standard. Okay, I'm also going to do the sole because, um, you know, why not? Right, that's, that's them nicely scrubbed. Uh, I'm going to give them a quick rinse. Um, and then if you've got a, a leather boot that needs conditioning, these ones are quite new, they probably don't need it. Um, but in order to keep leather soft and supple so it doesn't crack, you can use a leather conditioner such as Nick Wax um, conditioner for leather. Um, or you can use a sort of G-Wax wax, which will aid uh, the waterproofing. But if you've got a Gore-Tex liner in these boots, they're massively waterproof anyway. If you over um, clag it with wax, it'll actually impede the breathability. Um, so I'm just going to give these a rinse uh, and then we're going to let them dry. Uh, the really important thing is that you let them dry naturally, so don't put them near a radiator or near a fire or anything. Um, just leave them somewhere and they'll dry out naturally. You can put some newspaper inside and that'll absorb some of the water if you've got any in while you've been cleaning them. Um, it's a fairly simple process, but now's the time for us to get our kit ready for our next adventure. Hope that's been helpful uh, and thanks for watching. Cheers.